An ASL consultant really means someone who looks at a script that has a deaf character and analyzes the script to make sure the signs are correct, um, to make sure the style of signing is accurate, whether it be academic or street smart, depending on the variety of script language that's there. My manager ended up calling me and asked me if I would be interested in being a part of this film. And I thought, well, Creed 3, why would they ask me to be a part of this? And then I realized at the end of Creed 2, they had a deaf daughter. I remembered that in the movie and thought it would be super critical to be a part of this film. Because today, a lot of parents that have deaf children don't know sign language. They don't know how to communicate with their children. And so my dream has always been that my parents would learn sign language. And if I could make that dream a reality, even in a film, that would be so impactful. Before I actually came to this project, I did make a video of myself. And it kind of outlined some guidelines and processes to working with deaf people in general. How to use sign language interpreters on set what light needed to be adjusted for communication purposes. So that way the crew could watch the video and understand what to do and to be comfortable while they're doing it and not have to think about it. Am I doing the wrong thing? Am I making a mistake? And that way, when I came on set, there were so many crew members who knew a little bit of sign language. They could fingerspell their name and gesture with me. And that was just so inspiring. This environment really became an inclusive environment. And we all became a close-knit family automatically since day one. And I felt it was very inclusive, which was a joy to be a part of. I'm so happy that that exposure is out there, that the deaf community has a chance to stand on a platform and to say, we did it. It's about time, right?